Barnsley Ladies Rugby Club has had a phenomenal two years, which has seen it nominated for a Sporting Achievement Award. The side scooped Female Rugby Team of the Year at the National Rugby Awards, gaining national recognition for being unbeaten in the league and gaining back-to-back -back promotions for the last two years. The Barnsley Ladies Rugby was formed in about 2014 from 11 players who no longer could play junior rugby. I don't think anybody could believe how far we've progressed in the last three years. In the early days we, we suffered three quite large losses. I think that gave us then the impetus to see how far we could go, what we needed to do to progress. The more recent successes, we've now played competitive league rugby for three years. Uh, we've won back-to-back -back promotions in the last two years, unbeaten in the league in all competition. We're now just two divisions below Women's Premiership. That's how far that we've progressed. Barnsley's not a rugby town, uh, so to be able to do this and to be recognised for the sporting achievements is, is brilliant. When they uh, knew that the, we'd been shortlisted, they were absolutely uh, over the moon. Reason being, it's, again, it's putting rugby on the map, but it's also putting Barnsley on the map, and it's putting ladies' sport on the map. In an unprecedented year of success, Brampton's Josh Whale won the British Bantamweight title against Jamie Wilson in July. Josh, who won the belt at his third attempt, then defended it, becoming the first Barnsley man ever to do so, with a knockout victory over Don Broadhurst back in September. I, I've never, uh, I mean, a lot of people say that I've got talent to, to, but I've always wanted to be a British champion. I've had probably the best year of my uh, professional career, to be honest. Uh, I'm 29 now and I've just, I won English title in March, and I went straight in for British title, which I've already drawn for. When I did in July, it was, it was brilliant um, yeah. to be British champion. And then I did um, straight over uh, a quick turnaround. We went in for a first, my first defence in September at Manchester Arena. To first bands of the band to retain uh, the British title, which were a big thing for me. So. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was uh, extremely proud to do it. Me and my dad is my best mate. He's my hero, my dad. Um, He's trained me ever since I've been eight years old. Um, he's my boxing coach. Um, he got diagnosed with spinal tumours when I was 16. So that was a big thing for me in my life to uh, see with my hero, uh, my dad, my mum, for everything they've done. I said, I'll get you a British title for Mantelpiece one day, and I chewed to my word. I mean, it could have come a lot before in my career. I mean, you know, a few um, de decisions go against me. Um, I've been injured, and I've just kept carried on and showed will and determined determination to, to continue and, and reach my dream. Robbie Barrett from Darfield made history when he became only the third British boxing champion raised in Barnsley, after claiming a gutsy win as a huge underdog over Scott Cardle in Glasgow. He could not keep hold of the lightweight belt, losing it last month to Lewis Ritson. Started boxing when I was about 10 years old. Turned professional at 20, so I had 10 years in amateurs, had about 50 odd fights and uh, won central area title on my third year, won English title and then British title. Normally we'll train for at least eight weeks uh, for a fight. Mm. Uh, for my last fight I, it went pipeline a little bit longer so I trained for maybe 15 weeks. Um, it's high intensity training, two times a day, sometimes three times a day. I've got a dietitian who works with me, so he handles my food side. And Steffi Bull, my trainer and manager, and Ray Doyle, my trainer, work with them. Had a brilliant career, especially this year. This year has been my best year. Uh, started off with defending my English title against a kid who was in top 10 uh, uh, Britain in rankings. Uh, beat him, then went on to be one British title, what, third person in history of Barnsley to win British title. Yeah, very good year, best year in my career. Even though we've ended it with defeat and lost my British title, but it still doesn't take fact to where that I've, I've won it. Yeah, come back stronger, win more belts, but for Barnsley.